Good afternoon and welcome to the CPT Online Latin America number four tournament. We're down to the top eight right now. We've got myself here, of course, joined by Ringe. Well, I don't good. think we've done one of these before, right? Definitely not together. Not. That's cool. So, uh, of course, you know, these players here, we're down to the top eight now. It's going to be first to three the entire way through. Uh, a lot of points online. we got an interesting diversity of characters here because sometimes, you know, we get a bunch of lawyers in South America. We still yeah. got some of those. We Definitely. still got some of those. We'll yeah. take a look at the bracket uh, right now, actually. We'll take a look. And as you can see up here on the winner side of the bracket, we've got Mr. Brolinho, the infiltration slayer himself with his Nikali going up against Stunner. Stunner, a cami player. Yeah, and that cami's going to have to be stone cold if he hopes to take Ooh. out Brolinho. You know what I'm saying? Mm, yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah. And then down in the lower half of the winner side of the bracket, this is weird to say, it's Shades. Uh, going to be using Urien going up against Tuberau, who is also going to be a Nikali. So we got two Nikalis. In the top four, yeah, I should say, right now. And the top eight for the winner side, right, is all I see is that rush down. Mm -hmm. That's what the Latin America is about, and that's what I'm seeing represented so far. We have Nikali, Kami, Urien, and another Nikali. That spells to me aggression and offense. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens when it plays out. But moving on down to the lower side of the bracket, we've got Moise, who's going to be a Laura player, of course. we got a bunch of Laura players. Uh, in the South American region, going up against Ludo, who's going to be in Akuma. So, Laura Akuma match. Uh, it'll be interesting how that one plays out. I feel like we might see uh, Ludo's health bar explode. Yeah, I think both of those characters have a chance to really just, again, two characters that thrive off of that offensive momentum. And then moving on down to the last match in our top eight, we've got LM3 with Urian going to be going up against Paolo Webb again with Laura. So, we've got two Lauras in the loser bracket. We've got two Urians in this top eight, and we got two Nikalis in the winner side of this top eight. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely expecting a lot of electrifying command grabs coming out. I'm sticking <laughs> a lot of stuns coming out mm -hmm. all around throughout the top eight. There's not really, I mean, Street Fighter V in general is a very aggressive game, right? It's a very offensive-based game. Sure. So it, it's not much of a surprise to see so many characters that ride that momentum so hard in this top eight. But, man, I just think it's a signature of Latin America, right? Mm -hmm. It's just that all-out rtsd style <laughs> that we know so well in california well it looks like the players are ready to go it's oh they were it looked for a second like they might have been ready to go brolino versus stunner is gonna be coming up uh brolino you know he's got his nikali we've all seen him switch over to ibuki in the past he's also got a bison on deck uh i think in this match what do you think we're gonna see here i'll let you answer that question hmm. i was gonna answer myself i was like yeah, i can just hand this off of course and i will take it and run with it stunner <laughs> uh, is a cami player so I think he'll stay with Nikali just because of the solid anti-air game that Nikali mm -hmm. has with the stand jab and the DPs. Um, so I think he'll stay with his main character for now. But since he has Abuki and Bison on deck, those are two very strong characters. Right. So And since it's 3 out of 5, I wouldn't be surprised if he tried something else at the beginning. But this is Brolinho's tournament to win. He is the favorite. Mm -hmm. So he's just going to stick to business so far. I'm going to go with that main character. There it is. The Nikali, as you called it, going up against Stunner with the Kami as we expected. First match of the day, top eight action, Latin America number four. Yes, welcome to the top eight. We have Molino still repping that F3 on the first player's side with Nikali. Of course, we're going to get the aggression started real quick. Both players slugging it out at the neutral range. Oh, the pace has slowed down a little bit. And they're taking their time. Oh, the overhead from long distance going to tag him, and then the stop actually catches her trying to jump out. Yeah, but good V reversal. Gets herself out of the corner. Recognize was getting too close here to that corner. Didn't want to be there. Ooh. What a check. Yeah, stuff in the dash attempt. That's especially hard to do online. Oh, again, using that jab. Of course, the Kali with the three frames. Always going to be a primary tool to stuff the offense. Oh, back dashing the throw. Oh, great defense coming out from Brolinho so far. A lot of respect shown from both players so far, but here's a grab, and both times the stunner's gotten close to that corner. He's the been able to get out, but here comes the combo now in the corner. Delayed the crouch medium punch just enough to open him up. And he's definitely caught up in life here. Oh, boy. He's command throw. We got the DP. Both characters living on a prayer. Look at those wake-up buttons. Oh, my gosh. Like that? Counter hit, Brolinho gets caught trying to press a button. I think the only answer he could have gone with there was the EXDP, and we did not see any yellow flashing on the screen. Yeah, so Stunner was behind most of that first round, but brings it back. Oh, he's got a little dive kick of his own. I like that. The dive kick from Nikali, very good at changing up uh, the anti-air game against the opponent. Looking for Stun here. Stunner's got to be careful. 
Just a dive kick with the V trigger on top of it. Spins it all. Gonna take the damage on the corner. Stun bar not quite half. Trade. Yeah, that was a good trade for him. Nice dashing. Oh! He tried to give him some room to hang himself, but Rolino's gonna get out of the corner. Does eat a combo for his trouble. Life bar is pretty darn close right now. Reset. Uppercut. Ooh, bet. Love it. What oh, the? Oh, that way? Again. That way? Float on the track like a Segway? Stunner's going to take the first game. Two wow. rounds straight. I know you, you mentioned Brolinho. This is his tournament to lose, basically, right? He's yeah, probably yeah, the favorite sure. coming in here. But you could tell just from the start of that game, it seems like he has a lot of respect for Stunner. He does. It seems like they've played each other once or twice before in the past. I saw the EXDP finally come out from Brolinho in that last round. But again, I don't think he was expecting that Julian to go to the other side. No. Ends up getting opened up by the dive kick. Well done from Stunner in the first game. And I think that's a, it's important if they do have matchup experience against each other. Mm -hmm. It's uh, going to be important because Stunner won't be as intimidated by Brolinho, right? Oh, without All, a doubt. Yeah, always when you're playing against someone that has a lot of tournament results that you've never played against before, it's a little intimidating. Especially mm -hmm. when they have better tournament results than you do, which is the case with Brolinho sure. and Stunner. But, you know, in, in those situations, it's also always your opportunity to make a name for yourself against them, right? So they also have something to lose, and you only have things to gain here. Exactly. So it's, a, it's a kind of a nice position to be in, that little underdog position. Yeah, and if he has that experience, it's only going to make it uh, more in his favor. So we we're about to get into the second game. Spectating but, uh, has been halted, it said. We'll see out. what that means. Yeah, but I, I expected the Nikali in this matchup just because of the anti-air options from – right. Uh, uh, Brolinho at his disposal, right? It would be the jab, the DP. Mm -hmm. He even has the crouch fierce and the sand sure. fierce. They have different. Well, you barely see it, but it's yeah. still possible to anti air with it. Exactly. And the, the dive kick setup, too. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of the times when Cammy's just have that one reliable anti air, right? Like the back strong, it goes yep. boom, right there. Uh, it solves a lot of her issues. But with the dive kick, uh, it really changes up, changes up the trajectory and the speed at which he comes down. Right. And will make it end up doing it a, a little bit prematurely, making it whiff, and then getting a combo that way. Yeah, and of course, Cammy can do the same thing right back at him, right? She's always got her dive kicks. She's probably the most dive kick happy character in the game. Uh, yeah. I think if you look at him that way. When it came to that, right, that's how he won the two rounds. I think he ended dive kick both rounds. You're right. Yeah. You're right. It was. So. Interesting stuff there. Stunner going to get that first game. Looks like Brolinho was the one who dropped out of the lobby there, uh, which is kind of convenient because that way we don't have to like watch their recorded previous match, etc. So we just got to wait for them to get back in the yeah. lobby and get the matches back rolling. But that was the first match to kick off our top eight here. Four. CPT Latin America number four. We've had quite a few of these. This is the South America region this time. Yes. Last time we did something like the Latin America Northern region, okay, which is like okay. Mexico and stuff. Oh, so okay. yeah, yeah, this time it's just sense. purely South America. So we got a lot of players from Brazil. And if we look through our notes here for the players, it looks like we've got Brolinha from Brazil. We've got Shades from Brazil. Stunner from Brazil. Moise from Chile. Okay. Uh, we've got Ludo also from Brazil. Tubro from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Ooh, okay. And then we've got LM3 from Colombia and Paolo from Brazil. So basically everyone's from Brazil except for LM3 from Colombia and Moise from Chile. Well, that's good. I think uh, Capcom Pro Tour Online took a took it into account right how different the regions are mm -hmm. and uh how different the connections can be from region exactly. to region. so there's a lot more s diversity and spread throughout the regions like there's only the, there's a west coast mm -hmm. then there's the east coast exactly. region it's not just america um as well as like we mentioned in the south america regions they're split up as well mm -hmm. just to make it more uh, more stable connections all around yeah so. it makes a lot of sense I'm, I'm glad that they took that into consideration you know because whenever if i was the one who had to like create this i'd probably think like i'll just go like east and west yeah you know, that's exactly. what we do in america oh, that's fine. yeah <laughs> but they're more vertical we're more horizontal right yeah so it's glad like uh that they definitely took that into consideration but looks like we've got brolino back in the lobby game two incoming stunner yeah. up one game to zero and he wanted two rounds straight so He's on a roll right now. This is a level 71 Kami versus a level 72 Nikali. These Damn. people play some <laughs> online Street Fighter 5. Let's go. Well, both again, showing a lot of respect at the beginning of the round. Jumping trades at the last second. Oh, gosh. He went for the overhead again. He started off every round so far with that overhead. Not as the first attack, but like maybe the second or third attack that he's gone for. This guidance. The no meaty situation just gets wake, uh, hit with the wake up jabs. Yeah, and Thunder has definitely woke up with buttons in those situations. Oh, he skill whiffs. Thunder showing him a lot of respect with the dash up. Crowd strong. He's going to confirm it off the counter hit. Mm -hmm. And again, another counter hit. So many counter hits coming out of Thunder. Nice neutral jump punch from Berlino here on the dash. Cool. 
Pulls with the full combo EX Disguidance for the corner carry. Oh, he's going to be triggered. Cut. Yeah, he's going to see it. Just because of that V trigger freeze. Oh, look out. Oh, Ooh. the bet. My man, Stunner is not scared. Yo, wow. Stunner, three rounds straight over Broly. Of course, this is first to three, though. He is showing me that some ice is running through his veins right now. <laughs> Stone cold? Yeah, willing to make that glass crash and just do the EXDP. Well, ooh, catching Rolino pressing buttons. Yeah. These cami buttons have been such a pest to him. Everything has been countered. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah. Reset situation. This time, Rolino opts to not hit buttons. Stun bar still pretty high, though. Here comes a grab. Keeps him in the corner. Uppercut, Coming yes, out, sir. Yeah. Again, both players now utilizing that V-Trigger freeze to get a good anti-air. A lot of respect being shown. Great whip punish. Yeah, he's fishing for that trigger. Just decides to raw cancel the trigger. Interesting choice here. Yeah, yeah, he wanted those powered up dive kicks. Wow, goes with a third dive kick in a row. That was crazy. He burned the V-Trigger so fast. Yeah, he just went back-to-back -back dive kicks. Willing to spin it. EX, command throw. Brolin, you're on the verge of putting himself on the board for Wake the first time. Wake up, buttons. Let's go. Ooh, dashes out. And he's out of meter. He is, and Brolino responds by spinning his last bar with an EXDP. Yeah, Stunner around. went kind of ham there with all his resources. He spent the V-Trigger insanely quickly after fishing for a couple of crouching fierces, and then all the meters just gone. Yeah, that was a really good uh, medium DP anti here. Oh. Other side. Cross under. We have the corner situation now. Tries for the throw bait. Nice anti here with the back strong. Again, force. cross under. Oh, he tried to bait something out there, but Brolino just going to back up, wanting that stun bar to fade. Wow, and the big bet's coming out now for Berlino. This is the trigger off the roundhouse. No pressure found. Nice DP mm -hmm. as soon as he saw in the air right there. That was really quick reactions from Berlino. Stunner has that trigger ready to go. Ooh. Finds it this time. Stunner on the verge of taking a 2-0 lead on the favor of the tournament. EXDP in response. He skill from long distance is blocked. Ooh, the wow. I, I wasn't expecting it to go that way. Still alive. The pressure's on, but he walks out of the throw. Yeah, Stunner's a little bit too hype right now. He's got to calm down a little bit. Oh, he's going in! Finds the hit, and Stunner takes a 2-0 lead over F3 Brolino. Yo, Stunner, man. I thought, you know, he's, he looked like he was getting a little ahead of himself. There. He was like, I got to end it now. But, you know, it's, it's, it's only it's still first to three. Yeah. You know, you're only up one game. It's okay. But now he's up two. He's he up is. two to zero over Brolino. That's pretty impressive stuff. Yeah, for my man Stunner, this could be his Austin 316 moment. Oh, Bro, yeah. You know, putting Brolinho in the Brolinho, the Bret Hart right here. You King know, of the he, ring in 96. <laughs> it just might be. He is on the ropes. We'll see how Brolinho responds. Again, now he is 2-0 down. He doesn't have a game to play with in terms of character choice at this point, right? I mean, he could. He could just bring out, like, he could a Buki, right? Yeah, he could switch to another This character. would be the time if he feels like the character is not getting done. The, the thing that kind of makes that uh, decision harder for him is that that last game he did a lot better. Right, so True. it's like, well, it I think my Nicole is getting there right now. Maybe if I just stick with them, I'll win the whole set still. But or I could just bring on Ibuki, and maybe I'll do better because he's not as familiar with Ibuki. I mean, I don't or, even yeah. say that anymore at this point of the game. Yeah, that's true. I think a lot of people have a Ibuki experience. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, she's still a character that can hit you with the 50-50s, right? I right. think more so than Nikali in terms of how much damage she can out. Because like, Nikali is like counter hit setup or command throw, right? Right. A lot of characters have mm -hmm. that. But with... Uh, Abuki, she can restand you from the air, go from either side 50-50 right. in terms of the cross-unders. So I think he could put it on the bets of the 50-50s of Abuki and try yep. to take the damage where he can get it. But yeah, I, I would have liked him. If I would have had to bet on which character he would have picked, I think he would have stuck with his main character, yeah. So that's what he's going to go with. Brolino, he's taking this one seriously. You know, in, a, in some of the other online terms in the past, we've seen him, like, coming with other characters. But this time he's like, nope, I'm sticking with Nikali the whole way through, apparently. And here we go. Down 2-0 to zero to Stunner here. See if he can handle some business and bring it back. Or SL Stunner showing out. Ooh, oh, and then the boy. meaties are on point. And Does now the counter pressure for the frame trap. Ooh, just missed time the throw, but gets it anyway. Going bird watching. Let's get the corner combo. <laughs> so I have a chance to respond. Whoa. And it's a big whiff. And Stunner is on set point. What is happening right now? Here we go, set point stunner, as you just mentioned. Antier is good, cross him, and this time is blocked by Berlino, but again, gets caught hitting buttons. Oh, he tried for that uh, sweep. It is seven frames on the side of the call. He doesn't go far, but it's very fast. And right now, it is all stunner. 
This is beatdown. Oh my god, it wastes just enough amount of time it's to done. get this. It's done, that's it. My man, they call him Stunner for a reason. And we're going <laughs> I mean, look at this. <laughs> we are going to the critical art. The glass has been shattered. 3 to 0 over F3's Brolinho from Ooh. Stunner. Damn, girl. Well, yeah, he is on his way. We'll see if my man Stunner can get that match with Shawn Michaels in the grand finals <laughs> to take home the title. But right now, he's on his way. That is for sure. And great performance. That all was around. insane. I, I I mean, you know, when you, like I mentioned, in that very first game, you saw Brolinho come out a little bit, you know, a little bit slower. It's just like, man, he's showing a lot of respect to this guy. So I really think that they do have some experience playing each other. They're definitely aware of each other. Uh, and you can see why. Stunner with the 3-0 over Brolinho to kick things off here. Yeah, it has to be one of his, I would imagine, one of his primary training partners. I know if I had a cami that legit in my area <laughs> and I was a professional Street Fighter Five player, I would be in there with the practice. Mm -hmm. um, but he showed Brolinho, right, even in situations where Brolinho would get the knockdown and jump up. He didn't have the meaty timings or he wasn't expecting the wake up buttons. Either way, he was getting hit. And Stunner showed him that that's not going to be the case for me. You see in that last round, mm -hmm. he tried to wake up buttons, counter hit easy. He was on All point. day. On Tons point, of counter hits. Yeah, on point with his medias. And, yeah, that's actually a great point. Just in general in the neutral game, it mm -hmm. did not seem like Brolinho could find the rhythm to go against Cammy's buttons. No, most definitely not. And, you know, it's super crazy to think about maybe these guys are training partners. And maybe usually when they play, Stunner never hits a button on wake up. And this time he's like, I'm going to hit a button every single time. It's going to totally throw him off 3-0. Boom, got him. That's definitely a thing between training partners, right, is the uh, – the, when you face each other in tournament play, you have to have that ability to go against your traditional style. Right, because you know they're aware of it. Exactly. They're going to know it better than almost anybody you play in tournament. Mm -hmm. So because of that, you can't rely on the, the traditional strategies that you usually do. And if that's the case, then, I mean, well played by Stunner. Not only in terms of the gameplay skill, but the mental game as well. Oh, most certainly. So, of course, that means Stunner advancing to the winner final of the bracket.